Welcome to my kitchen here on Cool Creek at the Cool Creek Ranch. Today, I am going to attempt a new recipe. It's a Coke or cola and whiskey marinated steak. And that's what I'm going to be grilling on the big new grill outside today. So stay tuned, watch, and maybe we might learn something. I know I will. All right, first we're going to start with the whiskey, okay, the soda, and maybe a little of that soda, of course, tenderizer, a little bit of the Dales, a final mesquite rub on top. Okay, here we go. All right, first, get the whiskey here. Bowl, you know, help me count the chops. One, two, no, I stop that. I'm sorry, I can't. <sighs> no, never, never, no, stop, stop. Okay, all right, <clears throat> the whiskey. Ah, uh, see, I'm right here, didn't touch it. Okay, whiskey, a little bit of Dale's, okay. Mix that in our bowl also. Just a touch. Now you can use regular. I got sodium reduced. Health reasons, okay. All right, and just a little bit of the tenderizer. I'm gonna put it on the steak itself, okay. There's a couple of porterhouses in there. You see those, okay. And also got some ribeyes. You can pick up these at your local supermarket that you prefer. I personally like Publix. And I think they do a real good job on their meat. I like the guys in the meat department. Real nice guy. Helps me out every time I go. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Next. My utensils. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Hold on. Never find nothing when you need it, you know? You do this before you start the video, right? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Ta-da! Okay, my back. All right, now. Let's see, let's poise these in here like so. Just like so. Just like so. Okay. All right. Now, I did this a little deep because I want them to marinate and want it to soak in. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, mix this up a little bit. All right, now, this is a matter of taste. If you try it, you'll, you know, here or there, you'll add or take away, depending on the taste, your taste buds, okay? I'm putting a little bit, I like the cherry flavor, cherry soda, okay, total, just a little bit. Okay, and it's just for flavor. Okay, some people may not like that, so choose your own flavor if you don't. All right, now the Coke. Using a whole can of Coke. Okay, see here. All right, now. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna pour this all over the steak. Okay. Yeah, they're real good. Yeah, mix up, swirl it around a little bit there. The last little bit in there. Okay, good. Ah, smells wonderful. Okay. All right, now. One more shot. <laughs> it's not going to kill me. Okay, I'm going to step off, step off. Ah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> did he or did he? Okay. Okay. There we go. Now. Alright. The next step is to cover it, put it in the fridge, let it get cold overnight come back and cook okay but 
I started too late to leave it overnight. So it's probably going to be in there for about three hours, four hours of this, which I think four hours should do it. I do believe. Okay. Kind of swishing around there. Let it get all in between that steak real good. Make sure it's covered real good. Okay. And if you can see, it is covering the steak. Okay. So it gets in there and marinates it real good. Now, I'm going to put it in the fridge. Okay. I'm going to come back and let you watch me cook it. And see if you like it. Okay. I know I will. Okay. All right. Have any questions? Ask. A-S-K. Thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy your life. God is good. Okay. It's a wonderful day. All Cool Creek. Thank you for coming. Bye.